We started the business in my garage on Tiburon Street in Carrollton. I would provide professional equipment to, to companies, and but it was all stocked in my garage, so everything would be in my garage. The kids uh, eventually cr crawled all over the boxes in the garage and uh, stayed in the garage for about three years. My wife, uh, she babysat kids in the house. That was kind of a low-cost way where we could get the child care for as well as uh, make some revenue. We lived literally off of her income. We grew one account at a time. We, we went along and, and, and had a small warehouse north of where our properties are now. And then uh, we grew into another and grew into another. And then we were fortunate enough to be able to buy a building or two, and here we go. Clay is a, a, a passionate person. Uh, he's a big lover. He, and, and we look for people who, who like to please others. We know that uh, we're not, we're a family owned business. We're small ish. We're, we still have those same small values that we always started with. So we, we have a different feeling than a big national company. Um, I grew up with this. This is what I, all I know to do. It's really heartwarming to see the people that, you know, have, have been here for a long term and what it means to them. You know, it's, it's provided their families a livelihood as well. And you can, you know, some of them started when they were barely teenagers, <laughs> just, past, you know, and now you look back and you're like, wow. I've actually been here at ProStar and Parts Coffee for six years, one month, three days, and 94 minutes. <laughs> I think what makes ProStar special is the family uh, traditions, the family that they bring into it, having Clay here, having Debbie here to communicate with, having James Engel here as our vice president, they all make us feel so much like a family. That's why when you look at Parks and Company, we're the family, we're the company. It's all of us together. <laughs>